This video is all about understanding the finger number system in the fingerboard workbooks. On each string, you're going to have, this is for the first position violin, you're going to have open string, G, D, A, and E, and then you'll have your first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you can assume that for every single chart in this book that you're going to have the first followed by the second, followed by the third, followed by the fourth finger. But because of our quirky system of having B to C and E to F as half steps, the natural notes don't conveniently lie straight across all the time. In these two cases, they do. So it's very convenient to say these are all third fingers and these are all fourth fingers. But we're going to have to delineate, uh, differentiate between second finger high and second finger low for these natural notes and first finger and first finger low for these natural notes. So what we want to do is go with the concept of same letter, same finger. For example, if you have a C and a C sharp, in this spot you are given a choice of the third finger high or fourth finger low. Well, C is played with the one, two, it's played with the third finger. So therefore C sharp would be played with the third finger high. So you would call C sharp third finger high if it were this C with a sharp sign down here on the G string. You could also call this same spot on the violin D flat. Since D is played with the fourth finger and that note is lowered by a half step, then you would use fourth finger moving to fourth finger low. And in that case you would choose, if you saw this D written with a flat sign, you would call it fourth finger low. You just want to keep the idea that the same letter, same finger. Let's take this A for example. You can call this A, this could be called A flat, and this could be called A sharp. In each case, because it's an A, you're going to use the third finger. So A flat is third finger low, A is third finger, A sharp is third finger high. We're now going to take a look at the second position because there's something special, a little different on that chart. Everything's going to apply. Here are the notes written on to the second position notes on the G string right here. The second position notes, how they're notated in the music pertain to the D string, the A string, and the E string. Once again, you can quickly assume 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. But because we have the fourth finger in these two different places, we're going to call these two fourth finger low and these two fourth finger high. Now, if you happen to have F flat, which is the same note as E, or C flat, which is the same note as B, we're going to keep our same letter, same finger. F would be fourth finger low, F flat, fourth finger extra low. And it specifies that out here. C, fourth finger low, C flat, fourth finger extra low. Of course, rules can always be broken, and you can always finger an F flat with the third finger. But chances are, if you have so many flats in your music that you have an F flat, you'll probably also have C flat, D flat, and E flat. So you'd have first finger low, C flat, second finger low, D flat, third finger low, E flat. So you might as well, instead of taking that third finger and reaching it up here, you might as well go ahead and take that fourth finger F and make it extra low. If you have any questions about how to read these charts, feel free to contact me. If not, I hope that this video did the trick for you. 
And don't forget, you can always visit with me in person when I do a live streaming session.